You know, if you keep heading that way, you'll just end up right back here for the tenth time. <laughs> oh, what a reaction. I didn't mean to scare you. Only to let you know that you're wandering around here like a chicken with your head cut off. Huh? How long have I been standing here? Long enough to know that you, my dear, are hopelessly lost. You've been wandering around here for the better half of... Two hours? Trying to find a familiar spot. And to no avail. Well, yeah. I was watching. But I didn't intervene because... <laughs> it was too damn entertaining to stop you then. Now... Now it's just concerning. You don't really know your way around the trails, do ya? Hmm. You came here... Probably to hike a few miles of the trails with a group of friends. And you took one wrong step off the beaten path, or bent down to tie your shoelaces, and then suddenly, you were all alone. The sounds of the woods silencing everything until you could no longer find your way back. Poor little you. All lost and alone in the middle of the woods. <laughs> you know, dozens of people go missing every day, and some never get found again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you should see the look on your face. You actually thought I was going to hurt you. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. You have a better chance of running into a bear or a mountain lion than me. But of all the odds, you got the one living beast out here in the forest that doesn't want to harm you. Well, not at least yet. <laughs> Joking again. Unless you piss me off. But I'm sure you won't go pick a fight with a stranger in the middle of the woods where no one will ever find us, huh? Yeah, you look halfway smarter than that. So, was I right? Were you out here on the trails hiking in a group before you got separated and lost? Hmm. Well, regardless if I'm right or if I'm wrong, the problem is still the same. You're stuck. And you have got no idea where to go, don't you? <laughs> well then, humor me for a while, why don't you? I've hiked these trails hundreds of times, and it's always a new surprise when someone new wanders into my little area. Yes, indeed. Have you put it together yet? I supposed as much. You haven't asked me what I'm doing out here in the middle of the woods. Off the trails and seemingly in the middle of nowhere too. But you see, I'm not lost. I'm exactly where I want to be. So go ahead, ask away. What is a stranger like me doing all the way deep into the untouched parts of the Sparian Forest? Oh, well, I'm delighted you asked. What if I say I don't want to tell you? Well, I don't want to take away all the mystery. Makes me look bland. <laughs> well, for all you know, I could be up to no good. Maybe I'm lost too. Or maybe I'm your guardian angel. And, uh... <laughs> I'm damn sure you'd rather see me than some hungry carnivore. Well, 
depending on which day you've caught me. Simply summed up, I'm just some stranger in the woods. <laughs> well, I guess if it'll put you more at ease, I'll tell you what I'm doing out here. These woods are chock full of secrets. And I like to spend my days hiking them. All off the approved trails and discovering what little treasures this place hides. Call it a hobby. A really niche hobby. And I've found some pretty wild shit just strolling through these trees and trunks. Well, from hidden lakes to things the people have lost. Hell, there are things in these woods that definitely don't seem like they should be here. And I prowl into this place every chance I get, just to satiate my morbid curiosity. Plus, I don't mind the silence and the peacefulness of it all. Not really a people person myself, so I'd rather just get lost and find myself again. And then do it all over the next day. It's a rush that I think only I have the appreciation for. Hmm, what about you? Since you're already lost... What's staying lost a bit longer, huh? Wanna see something cool? Well, follow me or don't. I won't blame you either way. I'm just some stranger you know nothing about who you just happened to cross in the woods. In fact, I think any normal person would probably say no. But, I'll offer anyways. Have you ever wanted to just do something crazy? Be wild and insane for a bit with no repercussions and no one knowing? Doing whatever you want and... Having it completely hidden from the eyes of the world? No judgment. No cares. Just acting on complete whim with no regard for anything else other than the moment. If so, then I'll ask you this one more time. Do you want to come with me and see something amazing? Oh? A taste of adventure hits you on the tongue. Now you want some more. Perfect. Follow me. I think you're gonna like this one. And here it is. The first stop on our little tour. Sperry and Mystery Number One. I call it the Arbor Fountain. Yeah, I know, it seems like it's just some water, nothing special. But look closer. Look at that one strange tree in the very center of the water. It looks different than all the rest, huh? A bit more, how do you say, majestic? But that's not all. Look at the knots. And look at those hollow openings all over the tree trunks and top. Do you see it? All the water that makes up this pond is falling from the inside of that tree, cascading out of its holes and openings like a... like a waterfall or something. Some kind of strange, natural fountain. Water spouts just cascading out of this tree. <laughs> How does it work? Where's all the water coming from? Did someone make this, or is it unexplainable? Who knows? And who the hell cares? I came here just to enjoy the mystery. And that, that is what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Huh? <laughs> what do you mean, what am I doing? 
I'm about to go swim in there. And I'm not getting any of my clothes wet. <laughs> ah. Look at you. Oh, remember what I said? In here, you can do whatever you want, away from the eyes of judgment and the fear of someone else holding it against you. These woods are so vast. You could scream to the top of your lungs and still be unheard for miles. No one's here to see your wildest little whims. And me, well, <laughs> I can't judge you. I don't even know who you are. And, uh, well, I did start stripping first, did I not? <laughs> oh, yeah. Call me shameless, but, uh, what's it gonna be? You wanna do something crazy for a day and have no regrets? No consequences whatsoever? I mean... I won't tell if you don't. Well then, wipe that red from your cheeks. Stop gawking at my, uh... Ego. And get in here. I want to swim to that tree. And I want you to come with me. It'll be our first little... secret. Huh? <laughs> what do you call me? See, that's not how this works. The shamelessness only takes root if we keep our outside selves a secret too. <laughs> so when we're here, in these woods, you can just call me Stranger. That's what we are. Complete strangers in the woods. Well, take it off and get in. Don't deny yourself things when there's no punishment for indulgence. <laughs> ah.